Hey everyone, everything Ape here, and in today's video we're actually going to be taking a look at something a little bit different than what we have been taking a look at last time. We're gonna. This was based off. Um, it's kind of like inspired by Michael MJD's video. Um, I will have that linked up in the cards for you guys to see because um, I full credit goes to him for the idea of this video, but. What this is, is it's called a IE collection for Internet Explorer. And <clears throat> uh, so, so um, this is a um, IE collection. So it, it basically is the different versions of Internet um, Explorer. And you can see they have versions ranging all the way to 8.0. Um, and they have a um, thing. They have this um, map that shows you which is compatible. Um, which versions are compatible with with, with which release releases the Windows? Um, let's look at. We'll take a look at XP. Um, uh, 7.0 is not compatible with uh, 7.0 and 1.0 is not compatible with XP, sadly. And there's and the only one, and there are pretty much no versions of Windows that are compatible with all of these versions. So um, we might not be able to take a look at all of them, but we w might be able to take a look at some. Um, you can download it over here, um, but I've already downloaded it, see, so I'm going to uh, open up our um, Windows XP Media Center Edition. If you were watching my last video, you will have seen this. Um, and so I'm going to open that up quickly and, you know, do it. Uh, and I'm going to run this Explorer file and show you guys. All right. All right, so now we're back and we've booted into our Windows XP, which you guys have probably seen in the last video. Um, but here's the exp here's the file. So it's called IE Collection 1721. I don't actually know what that means. It's pretty much um, useless to me, but we're just going to open it quickly right now. <clears throat> and of course, we see our custom cursor loading. And then we have it. So... Um, it has this custom theme thing on here, which I don't really get. Um, it says it will install a Utilu IE connection 1.7.2.1. That's a bit of a hand mouthful, but we're just going to run again. Um, we're going to click next and we're going to install every single version that we can at least. Oh my God. Wow. This is a lot of versions, people. So sadly, 1.0 is not compatible, so RRP 1.0, but 1.5 should be generally almost the same thing. So um, we'll just thing, um, create a start menu folder, okay, um, and we're just going to make a desktop icon and then run. <coughs> Alright, so now it's extracting all the files, um, and you can notice here it has like this Windows Vista-ish theme, which I really do not get, I mean, um, like, uh, but we'll just let it go for now because, well, um, this is really thing, and again, thanks a lot to Michael MGD for the idea for this video, because, um, I watch his videos, and even though this channel's not subscribed to him, the channel where I actually watch videos is subscribed to him, and, um, I saw this upload yesterday. As, well, as of yesterday anyways, um, and I thought, hey, that actually might be a cool, like, something cool to do, so, um, that's what we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna do today, um, and as you can see, it's actually taken a while to extract everything, but finally, finally, it's working. Here we go. It's coming. Oh, there we go. Wow. Guys, that looks so different. I mean, we should do an evolution of icons. Hey, that would be funny. Alright. And we're not going to open it yet until the setup is completed. Because that might not be great. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see. Oh my god, stop. Anyways. Um, oof, this is a bit much. Alright, we're already in two minutes in. And it's taken this long to install. But I'm actually going to show you guys. God, no, no. All right. <clears throat> so this is what the Internet Explorer icons used to look like. So weird, right? They look so pixelated. And then it got changed to this one with maybe a streak of yellow. A tiny little streak of yellow. Um, and then it got changed to this one. Um, or not really changed, I'd say. And then, you know, there were very little progressions. 6.0 is really when it changed a little. Um, God, 
how long is this going to take? I really want to get on with the rest of the video right now, and I bet most of my um, fans want to as well. So, um, and, you know, it's evolved as well. So, hmm, let's see if it actually is here. Oh, yeah, big time, guys. Like, you can actually see here every single version of Internet Explorer. That's a bit... Come on. Alright, this is taking a long time, so... Hmm. Um, but yeah, so they do include start menu thing, um, entries, and... Oh, goodness gracious, it's finally done. We're not going to start any of them right now. I'm just going to relay them, pretty much. Um... So, uh, we're gonna... God, God, no! Finish. Alright, nothing should be launching right now. So, here we go, finally. Four minutes into the, you know, booting into Windows XP, we're finally installed. Um, so let's test 1.5. So what we're basically gonna do for tests... Ooh, that was fast. Darn! What we're actually gonna do here is we're gonna go to google.com and then search for my channel. Alright, ooh. That's pretty weird. I've never used the first version of Internet Explorer. Even still has this classical icon here. So we're going to type everything Eve. I should still be able to search stuff here. <coughs> and of course, it always says, D did you mean everything web? Which I don't understand for the heck of me. Um, and we're just going to check out my aww. Yeah, so we're, we're, I was going to ch go check out my channel. But... It seems like none of the links here are working. Let's try Yahoo, maybe. Yahoo should work. Oh, well. I guess that's it, so... <clears throat> that was 1.5 for you guys. 2.01. Let's try that. Um, there shouldn't be much significant improvement, either. Because, well, it's just a few years older than this. Oh, my God. Guys, stop! Whew, this is very... Taking a long time, stressful thing going on here. What is going on? I mean, surely it does not take that long to load Internet Explorer with one gig of RAM. I think the problem might be I didn't click it right. Okay, so maybe 2.0 is broken? Let's try 3.0. <sighs> I'm having the same general problems with all these. Alright, let's go. 2.01, come on. Alright, we're just gonna skip 3 because 3 is family because none of these are working. Let's try 4.01. That actually might be interesting. Hehe. <laughs> you know, maybe it might be. There, there's a slight chance that it might be actually opening all these, but it's taking a while. So we're gonna check the task manager right now. Oh my god, it's working! Yeah, you can actually see here, right now, that it's working itself out. Um, applications, processes, let's try that. Oh my god, what the heck? Alright. Oh, it's open, IE 4.0. Oh my god, I think it might be actually confused right now. Um... Let's just close this because, well, it's not working right now. We. This is dumb. <laughs> We're running into some technical difficulties, people. Um, let's check that out. Okay, 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 okay. God, no. There we go. We've opened 4.1 at least. And it's trying so hard to load this web page for thing. Oh guys. I'm getting so frustrated right now. We're currently at fifty megabytes of RAM or whatever. I mean of of video, but um I'm already freaking out for no apparent reason because my hard drive's really big. So I should not be freaking out. Oh no. What the heck is going on? And, 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 now, stop it. God, guys, okay, I'm going to need more patience for the rest of this, this video. I'm not gonna edit this so you guys can see all the troubles I went through. 
to just get Internet Explorer working. Yeah, this is what happens when you launch too many instances of the same application. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, this is what happens when you launch too many instances of the same application. Oh, God. Alright, we just need maybe a lucky break. Um, okay, sorry, 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 guys. I'm not just gonna have to end it right here now. Bye. Alright, everyone, I finally got it to finally stop being so annoying. And, um, we're going to try one more time to launch Internet Explorer 2.0. These are 16-bit 16 16 applications, by the way, which may be explaining why it's taking so long to launch them. I mean, like, really, really long. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what is going on? <sighs> Alright, I'm not gonna lose my patience here. I'm just gonna go send mode. And maybe play around. Oh, what? <coughs> God. Don't send. Don't send. Alright, we're just gonna go back to... Okay, we're gonna take a look at Internet Explorer 5.01. Um, because, like, this is really, really freaking out here. Sorry about that screaming, guys. Um, you know, my whole family loves screaming, and, um, like, um, I, I'm, I'm only, like, 12 years old, so, that when, alright. So, um, as soon as I can, of course, in a few years, well, in 2025 anyways, I'll be able to move out of this crazy household. But for now... We're gonna have to, oh yeah, look what's happening, look at these two smug dudes, why does Justin Trudeau have a beard? Anyways, finally we've got an Internet Explorer 5.01 to load, um, and we're gonna type here, um, what should we type? I don't know, oh yeah, everything, stop it, stop it, <sighs> this thing will not leave me alone. I should have just restarted the computer. I mean, that would have been more simpler to do. But we're just gonna have to, and you know, it's loading the Google and then my um, thing, and we're gonna hit O. Oh. So it looks like on 5.01, um, it actually does want to load a little, which is interesting. I mean, 5.0 um, was the last version to work on Windows 95, which technically means you can still use it on there, even although I don't know why anyone would be using Windows 95 in 2019. But anyways, hmm, it looks like it's not working. This actually does include support for HTTPS security, so it actually can load on, like, some operating systems. Alright, you know what? Cancel. Cancel. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to make a part two of this series because, like, it's actually absolutely not working. So we're gonna take a look at part two on versions I did not cover. And of course, if you guys like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. And of course, subscribe to Michael MJT. He was the one who showed me this for the millionth time. Um, and really, I've got to credit him with the discovery of this program. I mean, I would have not discovered it by myself. So with, with all that said, I'm Everything Abe. And this is my feral. <laughs>